Hello everyone. So today I will show you that how you can construct or create a phylogenetic tree using cluster W. So for creating phylogenetic tree, you need sequences. And for the demo purpose, I have already downloaded a sequence. So in this video, I will show you that how you can create the phylogenetic tree of this sequence. So in order to create the phylogenetic tree, first of all, you need to run the blast of this sequence in order to get the other sequences among which you can create the phylogenetic tree. So for blast, just open the browser and enter the NCBI. Now click here and go to the blast option. Here you have to choose the right blast type for your purpose and this sequence is a nuclear sequence that's why I'm going to click on the nucleotide blast. So as I click here now just copy paste the sequence here. So just select the sequence, copy it and paste it into this window. And these are the options, optional columns, either you can enter job title and these are the databases which are standard. So if you want to see the clear blast tutorial, so you can see my other video, the link will be in the description. So right now I'm just going to click here this blast button so it will perform the blast and it takes some time depending upon the query length and other factors so this these are the blast results so in order to make the phylogenetic tree we need some sequences so i'm just performing blast to get those sequences so just uncheck it and select the sequences you can select as many sequences you can for the demo purpose i'm just selecting the first five sequences so after selecting the sequences, you have to click this download button and now click here FASTA aligned sequences. By clicking here, a new file will be downloaded to your system which contain all these sequences and these will be in the FASTA. So this is the file which, which is just downloaded from the NCBA website. So these are the five sequences of which we can now make the phylogenetic tree. So in order to make the phylogenetic tree, first of all, just copy all these sequences and now again come to browser and in the new tab just open cluster w so this is the website just click here because for the final tree we have to first make a multiple sequence alignment so that's why just open the cluster w here the output format should be cluster and the this you can see the alignment type either fast or slow so just click here slow and the sequence are in the nucleotide form so just click here that is on the dna tab and now here just paste the sequences which you just copied you can either choose that file instead of copy paste you can choose that file directly now just click here that is execute multiple alignment so as you click here so now the alignment results are just in front of you and I have a separate video on multiple sequence alignment. So you can see that link will be also in the description. So here now just in order to make the phylogenetic tree here you can see that is select tree menu option. If you will click here so other options will pop up in these these are the methods of making phylogenetic tree and out of these the file ML bootstrap is considered to be the best method of making phylogenetic tree so that's why i am clicking here that is file ml bootstrap now just click execute a new window will pop up here in this window that is ete3 is the name of another software which is just preparing the phylogenetic tree of your query and this is the job id which is generated by the system itself and it may take some time depending upon as i told it, it all depend upon your query query length and how common your query is so now the result are just in front of us here just from the starting you can see that this is the method this all explain one by one that how you can construct the phylogenetic tree these are the result file you can either download these file to your system and this is the phylogenetic tree which is just created from your sequence so now how to read this tree so this this point this is the root 
which denote the common ancestor so from root these are the branches so from root branches arise and this terminal circle these are the leaf and the length from here to here this is known as the branch length and you can say the branch length is directly proportional to the evolutionary distance means longer the branch length longer will be the evolutionary distance among the sequences or organisms and these are the accession number like this xm 0 0 so this is the accession number you can confirm from here also like this this is the accession number same here so these are five sequences we have taken first second third fourth and fifth so we have taken just five sequences so these are five sequences and this is the tree showing the relationship among them and in the bracket like this 100 25 26 so this is the bootstrap value and it's showing the you can say the similarity among these sequences so from this you can clearly see that this sequence that is sequence first it is originating directly from the root or you can say it is originating directly from the common ancestor so it is not related to other sequences but here this fourth and fifth sequence they show similarity among themselves and they have a root which is arising from another root and it is related to this third sequence so this is the relation that how much it is related to the third sequence now you can just perform some editing here also like this option without branch length label if you click here so you can notice that the labels they are just removed without leaf label so this is the leaf label so if you click here they will got removed and these lines these vertical lines they rep they have uh, they represent here ticks so if just you click that you need your file entry without ticks so just click here so ticks will be vanished they again will come if you uncheck this and these are the formats in which you can download your phylogenetic tree in your system like png so if you click here so the phylogenetic tree will be downloaded to your system and you can also use it for uh, use it anywhere so this cluster w is a basic software for making the phylogenetic tree but if you are going to work your thesis or you if you are work you are doing a research so for that you can try another software that is mega software which is also for making the phylogenetic tree and that is much more efficient than this cluster w so i will post a separate video on the mega that will be come in near future so this is how that how you can create the phylogenetic tree from the given sequences so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much